Well, the first thing on the agenda in Strasbourg is 10 debates, which are going to take place in under six hours. So we've got about 30 to 35 minutes per debate to discuss important issues like HIV and AIDS, like nuclear uh, industry, like food safety and so on. And if you're going to debate those things for just half an hour each on average, then is there any wonder that the European Parliament is not a place where there's actual real debate? And the chances are, in any uh, speech, you're going to get something like 60 seconds, 90 seconds, maybe 120 seconds uh, to make your point. But of course, proper parliamentary scrutiny means that you need to be able to discuss something in a decent amount of detail, rather than saying something short and snappy for YouTube. And that's the problem with everything that's going on in the European Parliament. It isn't possible to have a proper debate in the European Parliament. They don't want there to be a proper debate in the European Parliament, because of course, as we all know, it is the unelected commission that proposes the laws. It's the unelected commission that wields far too much of the power. So I'm going to try and speak in some of those 10 debates that are going on later on this afternoon and this evening. But frankly, if I'm honest, I know that whatever I say is unlikely to make very much of a difference when you've got a debate that is that short, that simple, and really just scratches the surface with everything.